Normally what we see is uh, warm water forming over the Atlantic and that's when these hurricanes uh, move in and, and start affecting people. And we saw very hard hit areas, particularly in, in, in a number of countries in the Northern Caribbean, including the US. So Carl, welcome back to the studios. Thank you, great to be back. So today we're talking about the topic of the Caribbean. Now there's been some terrible storms in the Caribbean recently. So can you tell us why this has been happening? Yes, there's been very massive storms uh, this fall. And in particular, uh, we saw the Northern Caribbean very badly hit. Uh, places like Barbuda was always almost made inhospitable for people to live in but a number of other places were badly damaged as well. So normally what we see is uh, warm water forming over the Atlantic, and that's when these hurricanes uh, move in and, and start affecting people. And we saw very hard hit areas, particularly in, in, in a number of countries in the Northern Caribbean, including the US. And on the topic of the Caribbean, so the coral reefs there also aren't in a great shape. So what's been happening there? So a few years ago, we saw this whole movement of uh, reefs being damaged, partly because of diseases coming through the Panama Canal. Also, when there was overfishing in a number of places, that led to degradation. Then we've seen warm water events over recent years, which have led to bleaching, so a lot of the corals have died. And on top of that, of course, big hurricanes like now can also have a very negative impact. But there's hope. Um, countries like here in, in St. Vincent, uh, Petit St. Vincent, they're actually growing corals and planting them out on the reef, finding ways to restore the reefs. So I think there's also some encouraging things that are happening around the Caribbean. And as we do know, the Caribbean is a very popular tourist destination. So what are some of the economic consequences from the damages that we have been seeing and also for businesses, how do they protect themselves going forward? So I think it's really tough. Um, if you're a small business in one of these countries and you're very hard hit, it takes you quite some time to rebuild. Uh, fortunately, there are ways for the businesses to insure against it. Also, of course, some of them are able to operate in several different destinations, which makes it possible for them to actually offset some of the, the damages in one place and rebuild in the meantime. However, you know, we shouldn't diminish the fact that, that this will require a lot of uh, investments also for assistance from outside to help rebuild uh, some of these places. Absolutely. And we've got a photo on the screen behind us that you took yourself while you were there. So it is a very popular tourist destination. I'm sure people at home may be interested, but for future tourists out there, how do they protect themselves? So this is actually from, from the Grenadines in St. Vincent. I think it's a fantastic uh, place. It's a beautiful destination. If you're planning to go there, of course, there are some periods of the year where hurricanes are more likely, like the fall. Uh, so you can try to avoid those periods. Another thing you can do is also pick the parts of the Caribbean that are less likely to be hit. Sometimes there's an insurance against these type of storm sources. So that's another way of safeguarding yourself. But by all means, do enjoy visiting the Caribbean. Absolutely. Well, I'm sure everyone that does go will. So thank you so much for joining us here to uh, discuss Thank you, my pleasure. You're very welcome. Well, that's all from us here in the studios, but we do want to hear how you found this interview. So please do like and comment on dukascopy.tv.